What is going on everybody? Tyler Brand back here with another video, a instant reaction to the Miami Dolphins and New England Patriots game. Week one, of course, if you've seen it by now, the final score, Miami Dolphins 17, New England Patriots 16. A very frustrating, a very crushing, annoying defeat. It was, uh, it was a very interesting game, I thought, for sure. This is really still kind of digesting all this. I thought it was a very interesting game. It was kind of on par with what I thought it was going to be, what I said earlier this morning. Essentially, the, the run defense was good, not great. It was a little suspect. The, the biggest thing that I noticed from this game defensively was the RPOs. Patriots were getting absolutely eaten alive most of the time by the run-pass option. Even on the ground, the, the Dolphins made a few very, very long drives, and they extended a lot of drives on the ground with the run. Other than that, the third down passing defense is awesome. Is, is going to be awesome, especially when the defense knows they have to throw the ball. When it's an obvious passing down, it's going to be awesome. They get after you. Kyle, Kyle Van Noy had a sack today. Matt Judon was making a bunch of really nice plays, although it wasn't, big a stat, wasn't a big stat sheet day for him. He did have a couple really nice plays. In the secondary, J.C. Jackson looked okay. He was good, not great. DeMonte Parker had a few big catches on him. Which is to be expected for a guy who's really, for the first time in his career, ascending to that true number one cornerback role. The Dolphins, they kind of did exactly what we thought they were going to do. It was a lot more Miles Gaskin than I expected, but they did rotate a couple different guys into run the ball. Again, the RPOs are really what ate the Patriots alive. On the offensive side of the ball, this is really the important part. We knew what the defense was going to be going into this game. The important part was on the offense, and... You don't want to overreact, and this may be, you know, a little bit recency bias, and of course, you know, we're Pats fans, and I'm a Pats fan, and, and it's hard to say after one week, but man, Mac Jones can play football in the NFL. Uh, it, it appears that he really can play football in the NFL. He's going to make mistakes. There are going to be some growing pains, obviously, for a young quarterback, but 29-39, 281 yards and a touchdown, no turnovers at all, 102.6 passer rating. There's nothing else I could ask for him to do. I mean, even, and we'll talk a little bit about Damian Harris, but even as we kind of, as this game goes on, everything that they asked him to do, for the most part, he did, and he did it well. There were very few balls that were really 50-50 balls or were, were thrown into bad areas. It was a little bit of a more simple game plan, but when they had to open it up, he did have a few really nice deep strikes to Jacoby Myers. He had that beautiful, in the third quarter, that beautiful over-the-shoulder throw to James White down the right sideline. I mean, he really looked very, very good, very poised for his first start, and I'm very, very happy with what we see from the rookie quarterback. The game was fairly straightforward. I mean, if you didn't get to see it, it was, you know, the Miami Dolphins left up first, punt back and forth, and then all of a sudden the Patriots made a run in the second quarter. Uh, Halftime, they go in the locker room, tied at 10 apiece. Second half, the Miami Dolphins come out, march right down the field, give New England a little bit of worry, but all of a sudden the defense, which they continued to do all day, regrouped and kept giving the offense the ball back with opportunities to win the game, so much so that in the fourth quarter and in really in clutch time, Mac Jones was driving down the field and for all intents and purposes did what he had to do. If they would have sat on the ball for three downs and kicked a field goal, they would have been in the lead with two minutes left. So he did everything he was asked to do to get his team down the field and into the area for them to win the game. And then, of course, with about three minutes left in the, the fourth quarter, Damian Harris, who was an absolute horse today, 23 carries, 100 yards, two catches, 17 yards. Again, an absolute horse today for the Patriots. He fumbles the ball on a pretty much a dive play right up the middle to try to, to pick up a first down, loses the ball. It was a clear and obvious fumble. The Dolphins jump on it, and just like that, they escape. 17-16, the Dolphins escape with a win on opening day against the Patriots in New England. A really, really tough loss. Now, I could get on Damian Harris. I can freak out at Damian Harris. We can all freak out on Damian Harris. But kind of, a, and I wrapped this up a little bit on Twitter. But the thing is, at the end of the day, and we saw it very clearly this week, what the Patriots are going to be. And it's going to be fairly simple. They lined up in that 12 personnel with two tight ends a lot. And both tight ends, John o. Smith had a, a decent day, especially down the stretch. Neither tight end got primarily involved in the passing game too much until the end. But they lined up in that heavy 12 personnel and ran the ball a lot. A lot, a lot. So Damian Harris, for better or for worse, is going to be probably the focal point of this offense in 2021. So you can get on it for fumbling. It was annoying. It was frustrating. But I'll be honest with you, where they're not in the game, they're not driving down the field to win if it wasn't for Damian Harris. So 
you know, it's, again, frustrating, but I'm not going to get on the kid. He, he's going to be a star. I think we saw star potential from him this, this week. And it was a mistake from a young player that cost us a game. It's not going to be, it cost them a game. It's not going to be, hopefully, something that we see too often as fans. And hopefully, it goes a lot more smoother. And I think it will as the season goes on. It's only September. It's only one loss. Now, the frustrating part is... Going to Miami in Week 17, I think by the time the schedule plays out, it's going to be a must-win game. So now they're going to have to do it on the road, which is going to be very tough. But I saw a lot more good than I saw bad this this week from the New England Patriots. At the end of the day today, pretty much a, a little 10-second review. Offense looks promising. Mac Jones looks good. Damian Harris, let's not get on him. Defense, the pass defense on passing downs looks fantastic. They're going to need Gilly back soon. Uh, he, they were a liability a little bit in the secondary, although Jalen Mills made a nice play, and a lot of guys, Kyle Duggar had a good day too. But Gilly's needed in that secondary. You can clearly see it. So that's a big one too. But again, that's going to do it for this video. Once again, the Miami Dolphins 17, the New England Patriots 16. Get at me on Twitter if you want to chop it up about the game, at the Tyler Brand on Instagram, at Talking Pats. And I'll see you next time.